In this video we're going to have a look at how Finch can help us find a suitable unit mix for our project. And when we have that in place, we're going to copy the unit mix out to the rest of the building and find some nice repetition for constructability. So uh, let's dig into it. So this is the project. It's a highly irregular shape. Uh, the mass is already set and if we go in and have a look at one of the stories, we also already have a core. So the assignment for today in this video is to generate units around the core that fits this shape and, and uh, produce a nice mix here. Before we get started, I might show you that the core consists of stairs, elevator, corridors, and the corridor part is very important because when we start generating units, it's important that all of the units are accessible through the corridor so you don't end up in, in the stairs or the elevator. But uh, let's go. So I'm going to select the area where I want to generate and I go and click generate floor plate. And what happens is that we have some default settings here that I can play around with. And uh, initially we have a unit mix here by 30, 60, 90 and it doesn't really make sense to have this kind of small units for this large building I would say. So I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm just going to one third of each. And then we're going to go for 50, 100, 150. I also want to like, uh, I also would like to make my walls a little bit thicker, 300 millimeters. Okay, so here we go. And uh, as I mentioned, you can see that all of the units are accessible from the corridor indicated by these entrance arrows here. And uh, for my help, to, to know whether this is uh, a good solution or not. I also have some things here at the right panel, the residential unit mix that show me the sizes of the units being generated. And I also have a called unique unit that, that show if we have some repetition within the building. Now this is a highly irregular shape, so I don't expect too much uh, repetition here, to be honest. But already now I can see that the measurements or sorry, the areas I provided uh, results in something like this fairly accurate uh, areas consider what I uh, fed the algorithm but but the mix is is not there and that uh, that is of course because of the story doesn't match the mix that I provided I think it uh, made a great attempt but if we were to for example make this one a little bit smaller it will probably be able to fit the exact mix within this uh, story that we provided. So let's give it a couple of iterations here and see what it comes up with. I think already now it looks much better. I mean we have the big 150 square meter units up here. We have the smaller 50. We actually have some repetition. They, uh, these two are exactly the same I can see. And then we have the other ones down here. I think that's that's fine. I'm going to assign this one to to my story and I'm going to save that for later I'm probably going to come back to it but I would like to create another option as well so I'm just going to go into the story above fire up the algorithm again there we go then I'm going to change some things here let's see what happens if we just remove the mid part here and make it 50% each As you can see, the algorithm works its way with different solutions here. To getting the smaller ones down here is a little bit crowded and it also has a little bit of hard time fitting 150 square meters. So let's, let's change the numbers a little bit, see. Okay, so this solution I like. We have the bigger units here in the front and a sm some smaller ones here in the back. I'm going to save this one as well. There we go. So now we have two different solutions here. We can go into the story and have a closer look. One where we have 50-50, a little bit larger units here and smaller ones in the back and the other one is distributed by more of three different sizes where we have 
the 150 square meter units in the front here and then a mix of kind of mid-sized and small units. Which one I prefer? It's more of an architectural decision I would say or me uh, as a designer and to be honest I think I like this one a little bit better the the second option. So I'm going to I'm going to continue with this one. One thing I noticed though is that if I have a look at the unique units once again here I can see that I don't have any repetition within the building and it is a, a highly uh, complex shape so, so I'm not that surprised about that but I think these two units here could be the same so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my dimensions and just going to make this one match this one and I'm doing this by moving this wall typing 7450 there we go Oh, I need to fix my core wall again. There we go. And now our diagram shows me that I have some nice repetition here within the building. So this is the solution I'm, I'm uh, going for. And within a couple of minutes here, I evaluated a lot of different options. Finch presented me with, with uh, some uh, different alternatives and help me be be creative here so I'm going to fine-tune this one a little bit 128 129 maybe I'll move this one as well let's make it nice and even there we go and now we're going to repeat this uh, within the building here so which one it was it? It was this was the one we went for. I'm actually going to copy this one to the this story because when we're going to fill the entire building here, I'm especially interested in the relationship between these kind of stories where the where the design of the building or the design of the whole story changed a little bit. Just gonna remove these ones. This is the one I'm going to be working with. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to go into this one. I'm going to copy everything into this story as well. Then I'm going to assign residential project uh, program to it. There we go. And I'm going to open my unique unit panel. As you can see, we have some nice repetition between these two stories, especially here in the back. But uh, since the building is changing, of course, these ones will not be unique. But we're also going, going higher and higher up in the building where you usually have bigger apartments. So I'm actually going to go into this one and remove this wall and have a look at my design again. There we go. So fewer unique units. We actually just have six of them uh, right now. Very nice with repetition. And how does the resi residential unit mix look? Looks nice as well. So the next step is to uh, copy this one out to the different stories. And I simply click Control C, Control V, and I'm going to do the same thing here control c control v there we go if you look at the programs we can see that the building is filling up nicely so let's have a look at the last part here so now we're quite high in the building and we would probably like some big apartments there so i'm just going to copy the walls once again Assign residential to the things here. Then I'm simply just going to remove some walls here. And by keeping this one from the stories below, I also get some nice vertical repetition here. Let's see, how does it look? How does the unit mix look? Let's copy this one to the rest. There we go. 
So as you can see, we have now bigger apartments here at the top, a little bit smaller down here. And we also, if we have a look at the unique units, we also have some nice repetition going here. And what I like when designing in Finch is that all, all this data, all this visual feedback in the diagrams I, I get as I'm, uh, as I'm being creative. And here at the top, actually, we're just going to select these ones and add penthouses up here. So here's going to be the big residential parts up here. There you go. Within a couple of minutes, we explored thousands of different iterations, selected a couple of them, and continued working with them. And I can already now see that within this building, with this design, I have uh, just nine unique units. I can see that the residential mix, most of them um, is, is uh, or a big chunk at least, is here between 120 and 160. We have some small ones around 50 square meters, and then we have some really, really big ones here as well. So uh, this is how you use Finch to find a nice unit mix, copy it through the rest of the project, work with it, edit it, uh, edit it to get it exactly how you want it. And as I mentioned here earlier on, we also have some nice repetition for constructability. Hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.